and we were in a building in which we were trapped for about 10, 15 minutes. Are you talking about the... Did you go immediately to the Office of Emergency Management? No, I, I went down to the scene, and we set up uh, headquarters at 75 Barclay Street, which was right there with the police commissioner, the fire commissioner, mm -hmm. the head of emergency management, and we were operating out of there when we were told that the World Trade Center was going to collapse. And it did collapse before we could actually get out of the building. So we were trapped in the building for 10, 15 minutes and finally found an exit and got out, walked north, and took a lot of people with us. I have a, I have a question for you. Um, yeah. You reported to Peter Jennings that on 9-11 that the World Trade the Towers were going to collapse. And he, excuse me, no steel structure in, the, in, in history has ever collapsed due to a fire. How come the people in the buildings weren't notified? And who, who else knew right. about this? And, yeah. and how do you sleep at night? Ma'am, I didn't know that the towers were going to collapse. When we were told that the World Trade Center was going to collapse, and it did collapse before we could actually get out of the building. Ma'am, I didn't know that the towers were going to collapse. You reported and it also, Peter Jennings. No, okay. no. You said and, out no. Peter Jennings on ABC and also, you indeed said that the towers, uh, you were notified the towers were going to collapse while you were in some... Um, not, sh not sure exactly where you were prior to, but you said on ABC video with Peter Jennings in an interview um, that you were aware that the towers were going to collapse in advance. We'd like to know who told you the towers were going to collapse in advance, sir, and also we'd like to know who else you told. Well, the fact is that uh, I didn't realize the towers would collapse. I never realized that. When we were told that the World Trade Center was going to collapse, and it did collapse before we could actually get out of the building. Well, the fact is that... Uh, I didn't realize the towers would collapse. I never realized that. What I, what I, if I, if I, if I can complete the sentence, if you give me the courtesy to complete the sentence, our understanding was that over a long period of time, the way other buildings collapsed, the towers could collapse, meaning over a seven, eight, nine, ten hour period. No one that I knew of had any idea that they would implode. That was a complete surprise. No one that I knew of had any idea that they would implode, that they would implode, that they would implode, that they would implode. No one that I knew of had any idea that they would implode. That was a complete surprise. I went down to the scene, and we set up uh, headquarters at 75 Barclay Street, which was right there with the police commissioner, the fire commissioner, mm -hmm. the head of emergency management. And we were operating out of there when we were told that the World Trade Center was going to collapse. And it did collapse before we could actually get out of the building. So we were trapped in the building for 10, 15 minutes and finally found an exit and got out, walked north, and took a lot of people with us. No one that I knew of had any idea that they would implode. That was a complete surprise. Thank you. Thank you all. Do you have any comments about World Trade Center number seven before 26 minutes was left before it actually went down? Oh, you dirty boy, you. Oh, oh, I thought you were a gentleman. Hmm. Can you really play a woman playing a man playing a woman? You never saw my act. Hmm? I already play a Republican playing a Democrat playing a Republican.